Here's a dilemma for you. There's a, a pie in one chair and a dick in the other chair. You have to eat one and sit on the other. What would you do? I'm sorry about the lack of an intro. I would have to redo that shit because I deleted it by accident because I'm a fucking idiot. But um, <clears throat> since there's no shonen shit this week, I decided to put out another uh, series recommendation. And the series that I'm recommending today is actually a popular one, but there may still be some people who haven't seen it and don't know what it's about. And the series is Code Geass. Without really trying to ruin too much of the storyline, I'll just give like a brief synopsis of what's going on and uh what i plan on doing on this one because it's a uh, familiar series i think i just kind of put together the i just do a quick rundown of uh episode one i just show that you know real quick so that people can watch episode one and they're just like oh shit i, I can kind of get into that but uh yeah i think that's what i do i just do a quick you know i, I just condense episode one into like a uh, five minute little thing and then you can just see those clips from specific points of the episode and uh, yeah hopefully that'll make you like the show because that's one of my favorite animes I love it so uh, yeah here we go Cole Gios is about a 17 year old kid named Lelouch Lamperouge or Lelouch Britannia, you know depending on what you want to call him he um, <clears throat> doesn't like the tyranny of uh, Britannia and uh, because of the death of his mother he wants to bring down Britannia. And uh, he has a Japanese friend whose name is Suzaku, who's the son of the former prime minister. And even though he's Japanese, he joins the Britannian army, which has just taken over Japan and renamed it Area 11. So even though he's Japanese, he fights for the Britannian army. And even though Lelouch is Britannian, he fights with the Japanese to bring down Britannia. And in the first episode, Lelouch is uh, just leaving one of his numerous gambling matches playing chess. And uh, a truck veers off the road and smashes into a wall. And he goes to help see if the people are alright. And he falls inside of the truck. And there was a bomb type thing with poison gas in it. And uh, yeah, that, that truck was driven by terrorists. And uh, they act, and one of the terrorists can pilot a nightmare frame, which is a big vital role in the uh, Code Geass world. Nightmare frames are like Gundams, but they have more human-like movement. Um, he's in the truck, and he gets caught up in this whole terrorist thing. The Britannian army is ordered to kill all the Japanese people in the uh, Shinjuku ghetto. They're ordered to do that. Every one of them, whether they had anything to do with the hijacking or not, ordered to kill them. And um, while Lelouch is being chased in this little skirmish, he, the poison gas capsule opens up and it's revealed to be a girl inside of it, C2. And um, <clears throat> Suzaku was shot for failing to kill Lelouch. And Lelouch is about to be killed, but the girl who's inside the capsule steps in front of him and takes a bullet in the head. And uh, just as Lelouch is about to be murdered, the girl reaches up and asks him, does he want power? And to, you know, bond with this contract with her. And he goes for that. You know, he wants the power to save himself. And he is granted the power of Gias. And the first command that he gives these guys is that they all should die. And they proceed to do just that. Now, as I said before, I'm not going to go into too much of it because I don't want to give out any spoiler type shit. You know, I really do love this series. This is a, one of the most powerful series. You know, like, to me, it could easily rival that one. Alright? To me. I really do love Code Geass. I think it's worth getting into. I think that... I think to... This, let me put it this way. Code Geass is what Full Metal Alchemist was to a lot of people. Full Metal Alchemist was kind of the first series that got you emotionally invested in characters, and that's what Code Geass did. 
So I really do hope that you people get into that. You know, there are several spin-off series, manga and stuff, none of, uh, Nightmare of Nunnally, um, Suzaku, um, Renya of the Darkness, and I just saw that they're making a new series, a new anime series, um, Akito, I think that's what it was called, Akito of the Exile, yeah. So, uh, without further ado, here are various clips of episode one. So please get into that, and please comment and subscribe and all that stuff. And the next series I'm going to do is actually requested by me from Ask Your Girl Why, and this series will be Black Butler and Black Butler 2. I've done both of those. Well, not done both of those, because I haven't seen all of Black Butler 2, but I did see Black Butler 1, and I'm going to heavily talk about that, because I thought that shit was awesome. But without further ado... Here is Code Geass. Area 11. The defeated and once proud nation of Japan was rechristened with a mere number. I swear. Huh? I swear, Suzaku, so help me. I will one day obliterate Britannia! Enough time. Hmm? You start with the king? <laughs> <laughs> You idiot! Watch where you're going! No! Not that way! Uh, was that our fault? I don't think so. Hey! Over here! Whoa! <laughs> nasty crash! What happened? Some sort of accident? Probably a drunk driver. It's always some more. Hey, maybe somebody ought to go help! <laughs> All those idiots. <laughs> Wait! Look, the student oh, rescue team has arrived. So, like, why doesn't somebody call for help, you know? Hey, are you all right? Can you hear me? Are you okay? It's you. Finally, I have found my... Uh, but where? Are you in there? Stop! I'm in here! A slash harken! A nightmare! Crap! These guys are real terrorists! You fellas know full well what this badass mother can do! The rest of you back off. I'll take this guy. I can only assume you dug that obsolete relic out of some scrap heap. And over the hill Glasgow is no match for a Sutherland! Not to mention a filthy Eleven who spurns the compassion of our glorious Emperor! Both of us can't risk being killed! Run for it! Fight! Simple-minded Eleven. No way! It's stuck! Second hand chunk! I'll admit, I really like your spirit. However... Are you Britannian? That's enough mindless murder! Wait, I'm not one of... Planning to use poison gas? <clears throat> Don't play dumb with me! Get off me! I'm not here by choice. And if that's poison gas, it was made in Britannia, wasn't it? My god. Mindless murder. Then why don't you just obliterate Britannia? Lelouch. It's me. Suzaku. <clears throat> you... You became a Britannian soldier? Yeah, and what about you? You're a... What are you saying? <laughs> That's not poison gas. What is it? You have no future. He mustn't die! You shot her! Hm. Our orders were to bring her back alive if possible. Oh well, nothing can be done about it now. We'll tell our superiors that the Royal Guard found the terrorist hideout and killed them all. Regrettably, the female hostage had already been tortured to death. 
What do you think, schoolboy? How can this be happening? First Suzaku's killed, and this girl. Now I'm about to die, before I've had a chance to do a single thing with my life. It's gone in a heartbeat. Nanui! You don't want it to end here, do you? What? You appear to have a reason for living. Girl, that's impossible. If I grant you power, could you go on? I propose a deal. In exchange for this power, you must agree to make my one wish come true. Accept this contract and you accept its conditions. While living in the world of humans, you will live unlike any other. A different providence, a different time, a different life. The power of the king will condemn you to a life of solitude. Are you prepared for this? A convergence for the Ragnarok connection? So the myth is beginning once again? Yes! I hereby accept the terms of your contract! Say, how should a Britannian who detests his own country live his life? Are you some kind of radical? Huh? What's wrong? Why not shoot? Your opponent is just a schoolboy. Or have you finally realized? The only ones who should kill are those who are prepared to be killed. Uh, what's happening here? I, Lelouch v. Britannia, command you. Now all of you, die. Happily, your highness! Fire! That was the turning point. Since that day, I've lived a lie. The lie of living. My name, too, was a lie. My personal history, a lie. Nothing but lies. I was sick to death of a world that couldn't be changed. But even in my lies, I refuse to give up in despair. But now this incredible power, it's mine. Well then. <laughs>